adding and subtracting square roots is actually quite a bit of fun and it's pretty easy. It's very different than multiplying and dividing. There's a whole different set of rules. But in a nutshell, all you have to do is simplify the radicals and then combine like terms. First, let's talk about combining like terms. In our first example here, we have two square roots of three plus three square roots of three. Now, when I say like terms, I mean they have the same number under the radical. The radicands are the same. Here we have two square roots of three. Here we have three square roots of three. Two square roots of three and three square roots of three give me five square roots of three. Over here, we have five square roots of 10 minus the square root of 10. Remember, when there's no number in front of the square root, it's automatically one. So we have five square roots of 10, take away one square root of 10, that leaves us four square roots of 10. So basically, all I'm looking for are things that have the same radicand, the same number under the radical, and I'm combining them together. Let's take a look at a few more examples where we actually have to do a little bit of simplifying. In this example, we have the square root of 3 plus the square root of 75. Notice we do not have any like terms. A 75 and a 3 are very different. The trick here is to simplify all of the square roots. Once you simplify them, you can see if you have any like terms that you can combine. Square root of 3 is already in simplest form. Square root of 75, however, is not. 75 would be right there on our list of perfect squares if it were one. I'll go down the list from biggest to smallest and find the largest perfect square that goes into it. 64 does not, 49 does not, 36 does not, but 25 does three times. So I'll switch out the 75 with a 25 and a 3. Square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 3 does not simplify. But now notice what I have. I have one square root of three and five square roots of three. I now have like terms. I have the same number under those radicals. So one square root of three plus five square roots of three give me six square roots of three. That's how I add square roots. Simplify the radicals and then combine like terms. Example four is a little neater. It has three square roots in this case. We have 14 square roots of two, one square root of two, and five square roots of eight. I see I have some like terms here, but this one is not alike. <clears throat> well, let's simplify it and see what happens. Square root of eight simplifies to four and two. Square root of four is two, so I have 10 square roots of 2. Now I have 14 square roots of 2 minus 1 square root of 2 plus 10 square roots of 2. 14 minus 1 is 13 plus 10 is 23. So I have 23 square roots of 2. Now remember, you can always check your work by plugging this into the calculator and this into the calculator. If they come out the same, you're in pretty good shape. Now, I'd like for you to try a couple more examples. Please pause the video here and try the next example, and then we'll see how you did. Let's take a look at the solution. Example five, we have two square roots of three plus the square root of 27. There are no like terms there, but let's see if either of those square roots simplify. Three does not, but the 27 does to 9 and 3. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 3 stays the same. I now have 2 square roots of 3 plus 3 square roots of 3. That gives me a total of 5 square roots of 3. Now, I'd like for you to try the next several examples. Please pause the video here. Remember, work through them. Simplify the radicals first, then combine like terms. And we'll take a look at the answers as soon as you finish. Let's take a look at the answers. Example six, we have two square roots of five minus the square root of 125 plus three square roots of 75. No like terms, but
but let's simplify the radicals. Square root of 125 breaks down and simplifies to 5 square roots of 5. Square root of 75 breaks down to 25 and 3, and we conclude that be 15 square roots of 3. So I have 2 square roots of 5 minus 5 square roots of 5 plus 15 square roots of 3. 2 minus 5 is negative 3 square roots of 5 plus 15 square roots of 3. Now notice that the square root of 3 and the square root of 5, they are not like terms. They have different numbers in the radicand. And since the radicands are different, we cannot combine those terms. So this is our final answer for number 6. Finally, number 7, 5 square roots of 2 plus the square root of 2 minus the square root of 50. Let's simplify the radicals. That's simplest already. That's the simplest. But the 50 breaks down to 5 square roots of 2. 5 square roots of 2 plus 1 square root of 2 minus 5 square roots of 2. We combine those, we end up with 1 square root of 2. Now, once you have your final answer, it's not necessary to write the 1 in front. We can simply say the square root of 2. And that's how you add and subtract square roots.